As most conceptualizations, it really depends. I will presently type in broad terms. It's very difficult to distinguish capacities and virtues such as humor valor, courage and intelligence and so forth, or the notions of possessing these virtues as core components of who we are, from any individual's existence. Such that, if anyone thinks of themselves self-concept as stupid and such a concept doesn't match with experience in the world such a self-concept wouldn't match and CD would be the result. In her book, The Growth Mindset, Carol Dweck SP, lays out such thought and I quote, the growth mindset, that even though an IQ score is a static number IQ as such represents potential. A person with an IQ of 100 means that person learns more slowly contrasted with another person who has an IQ of 150 simply means that person learns faster. However, the virtue of intelligence is just an aspect that makes us who we are, and doesn't make anyone else a better person than any other person, if we forego feelings for IQ then we forego the entire scope of being human and all the depth and breadth as such. The same notion applies for humor as it does for IQ as it does for any other core component, if anyone thinks, growth is not possible, then the person will not grow, if anyone thinks, growth is possible, then the person will. One person might be better than another at humor, and another person might be better at thinking, for example, if both compare themselves based on, he's better, no he's better, there is no use, then such a contrast is not in either's best interest. Maturity is the notion that some are better than others at some other at behaviors, that just because one person is better in one area of life, doesn't mean that the other isn't just as good in another area at life. Maturity is rooting on one another for our strengths, to have each other's back, while independently working on our weaknesses.